Hello, good evening, and a very warm welcome to Sports Scene. And may I wish you, on behalf of our entire production team, a very happy and prosperous 1987. Now, not surprisingly, a lot of people before this game put the tag of cup final on it because it meant so much to both Rangers and Celtic. If Celtic won, of course, they would stretch themselves into an almost unassailable lead. And for Rangers, getting back into the contention would mean only three points behind the league leaders. But uh, I think that's a bit foolish because there's so much still to play for in the rest of the season. Mark you, the Rangers and Celtic supporters in an air day game always think of it as a cup final. Even the anxiety gets through to us in the commentary platform. Mark you, we were rather let down by the weather, but uh, thankfully it didn't depress the action. Well, we may need goggles and skis to get out of Ibrox and back home tonight. Just look at that. I mean, the rain we do understand only too well, but suddenly, but uh, 10, 15 minutes before kickoff, this has happened. And there's the Rangers side, totally unchanged from Saturday. And of course, Graham Roberts at number two, the new signing from Spurs, will be making his old firm debut. And there's Celtic, they have, I think, stiffened the defence, brought in uh, Grant at uh, fullback. I'm sure you'll play there. There was talk of Danny McGrain being in that position. A young Owen Archdeacon tried a way out on the left. And there's the match referee, Kenny Holt. At least he's used to this atmosphere. It's his fifth old firm match, and he laps it up. And off we go, and the conditions really are quite appalling. Nevertheless, Hybrid Stadium looks very spectacular, even with this uh, snowy atmosphere now. And having said all that about conditions, normally when the, the pitch is holding like this, we get very exciting old firm games, and this looks like an exciting start by Celtic. A confident touch there by Celtic and determination in the face of Brian McClare. As I said, we normally get the very good uh, old firm games under these conditions. There's Graham Roberts. Good job. Trying to find Flat, Sinus. Yes, Sinus. Looking extremely calm. Just kept in by Monroe. And Rowan was already, as I think it was next day, who went in from the rear, and that is a free kick. Quickly taken, Sunnis. Now flat. It's wide, and it might be a good one. David McPherson looks at it, gets away, and that's a late tackle, I think. in hard, following up McAnally. Brilliant tackle by Butcher. But stay. Off the head of McPherson. And there is Derek Ferguson. Beautiful pass to Sinners. Out to Cooper. Cooper can't go around the side as a throw to Celtic. And Cooper already has shown his intention to move infield, not stick out in the wind. Tackle there by Roberts, and I think that's a free kick, yes. I think the referee's having a word with Sunnis. Obviously a comment passed to the referee. Watch the tackle here by Roberts. Right across the player. Free kick. Goes all the way through. It's a throw to Rangers. Now, refereeing is going to be very difficult under these conditions because players are going to slide and slip all over the place and miss time tackles. And this man bears an awesome responsibility in an atmosphere like this. Go for Free kick, yes. 
try to dance his way between the two Celtic players. Nobody does it more gracefully than David Cooper, but didn't get away with it that time. So with the long one, it's misjudged. There's Aiken. Monroe. Grant takes that down beautifully. Tackled by Sunnis. And he slid into 